is to introduce your student speaker, and she is Heather Riddell. Heather, if you start the stage, uh, up to the stage, I'll tell a little bit about you. Heather's the daughter of Louise and Jamie Riddell. While at East High School, Heather's completed the A-plus program, earned the Academic Achievement Award, Academic Letter Award, George Washington Carver Award, the St. Peter's Kiwanis Scholarship, and has been a two-time recipient of the Essence of PPI Award. Heather's also served as a senior class officer and has been a member of the National Honor Society. She plans on attending Truman State University and majoring in elementary education. Your student speaker is Heather Riddell.
can open your eyes. Now although all our visions are unique and different, we will all be chasing after the dream we just imagined. We are going to have to fight for that vision, give up on the things that interfere and throw us off course. We are what we believe. And if we don't want to be the person we think we're stuck being, we don't have to be. High school is over. Remember walking out of eighth grade that last day of school, feeling like we knew everything and thinking we were so tough? Well, high school threw us back in our place really fast. And this time, we're entering the real world. Everything is going to change for us once we walk across the stage and out those doors. Who knows, the person next to you might find the cure to cancer, or maybe even become a doctor who saves your best friend's life. In our president's words, America's destiny is never certain, but our ability to shape it always is. Just remember, we have the power to be whoever and whatever our dreams hold for us. All we have to do is chase them. This is where my faith in you guys comes into play. I see the strength each of you have, the big hearts we have, and the dreams we want to reach. And let me tell you, don't let a day go by being someone you don't want to be, working for a company you don't stand for, or forgetting to tell the person you love most that you love them. We only have one life. Don't let mistakes tear you down, because they all have a purpose, a purpose much bigger than we could ever imagine. At this time, I'd like to thank the teachers who have made such a lasting impression on all of our lives. Our principals who guided us through new hallways all the way through the doors of this stadium. And lastly, I ask you graduates to give a round of applause to your parents. They are the ones who watched you walk into your first day of kindergarten kept loving you through those moody middle school years, and have continued to support you up until this day. To conclude, Ralph Waldo Emerson once said, do not go where the path may lead, go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. Well, you, my dear friends, have done just that. You are invincible. You are the first graduating class in the history of Fort Zumwalt East High School. Together, we left an unforgettable trail. There truly is no class like first class. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. Next, I would like to ask 